What's up, YT World? This your girl, La Kiki. Miss D, that, see that, that is. And I believe this might be a Big Brother episode two rant video, for real, for real. It's like, this might get tacked on to Big Brother slash, this, this is gonna stay in Big Brother, but whatever. This is um, probably my rant about the episode I just watched. And I'm mixed up uh, with the, the, the live feeds that I've been watching off and on when I can and then when I'm not I'm definitely um following all the tags on all the feeds uh the feed line thank you to uh various people who actually um it's helping me keep up when I have a real life so I don't have no time you know I'm not saying I don't have a real life but you know I ain't got no time to be on no feed all throughout the day but even still working my job and doing everything else I have to you know, do on the weekend, my busy schedule with everything, with the family. I still feel like I'm a little obsessed with reading this timeline feeds. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, what is literally going on? Oh, I don't want to be in the house. When I tell you they picked the right one, because ain't no way that I wouldn't have picked up on this since. Granted, I'm already on cue of, uh, I'm I'm already on brand of like um literally filling out the situation, filling out the room and knowing how um these hoes work. Um so, you know, if I was in that situation, yeah, I might not know uh I might not know what's going on or whatever um at the moment, but I'm definitely going to pick up on hmm these hoes fun. Or obviously, when you walk into a room and then everybody disappear, I'm like, okay, but she's obviously a recruit and well, sort of recruit. I mean, she she knows about the show and all that stuff, but you know, do you really? You know, oh yeah. A lot of people say they really know the show and then they go back and watch just the icons of people that are gonna tag. Like I watch season ten, I watch, and everybody like, ah. Oh. Yeah, get them that credit they know big brother because they know about dan and they know about um danielle and they know about you know ver various uh, people you know various icons and i'm like no you just saw the thread on twitter and you like went back and watched the season this year but anyway that's neither here nor there what i'm coming on here is saying that episode two of big brother was some bush you know literally literally um the only part of the edit that they could not edit because your your dumb ass did it to yourself was um the obsession you have you know <laughs> with uh taylor miss uh paloma i mean i would have a set obsession too when my name is just pure just straightforward one syllable you know two syllable and what is a paloma but don't get me started i ain't, I ain't knocking nobody's like cultural names and all that even though they knock <laughs> eat us, queet us, la, and keet us, and, you know, and all that, you know, but actually, actually, our own kind of doing it more than, you know, black like that, black like that, black like that, it's not like that, but this video is purely made straight in my car because um, my son is getting on my goddamn nerves, I can't do my videos around him, he want to be all up in a giant, talking about some, hey, la kiki world, I mean, hey, <laughs> Like, no, it's not Lakiki world, it's YouTube world. But let me not rant about that. That'd probably be another video. Kids get on my god dang on nerves. Um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe to this video before I go all the way in and me offend whoever or whatever. It's all, like, I'm just getting my rant out there. I don't mean no harm, but I gotta call it like it is. Um, yeah, so this episode, meat and potatoes going straight to it. Like Daniel, you you just a dumbass. You don't you don't have a mind of your own. Uh, I don't know who told you that you were Elvis Presley. Um, you sh I, I've seen better impersonators there as Elvis Presley when I went to Vegas. Period, and I have the pictures um, as evidence. If anybody want me to tag that, uh, <laughs> like you're not one of a kind or anything. Uh, I don't even believe that you're six three. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> messing around but like you're just an idiot like anybody could walk in the room and be like oh yeah oh the first thing you said to paloma i'm feeling 
I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling Taylor. I feel good with Taylor. Like she was the first one that I gravitated towards, and then it took her to be like, well, I don't trust her. Oh yeah, that's the. That, I'm trying to get in your drawers. So if you don't trust her, then hmm, let me think about it. Let me let me take a second to think. Is she really the person that? Uh, so she don't get along with my boo Paloma. She don't want your dumb ass. I hope you know that. She just playing you. How can you not pick up on she's playing you? She's trying to gear you towards that way. And then you're like, you had good vibes with Taylor. If you picked up on good vibes with Taylor, if you, you know, have a discernment about yourself. I'm sorry, I thought that was a tell. If you have a discernment about your um self that, uh, that you know the people, you know good energy, you know the super fan, da 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 If you a super fan... How you not going to know that when you the HOH, dumbass, that everybody going to come to you pushing you towards a direction of where they want to go? Yes, you're looking for, oh, who's the easy person in the house? If she's so easy, why you ain't put her straight up? Why you ain't put her straight up? But spoiler alert, and for everybody that don't know, she might be going up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I ain't going to get into the details of when, what, who, or when, uh, you know, who got off or whatever, whatever. But I'm just saying that she might be a backdoor option, folks. You know, it's, 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 this is crazy. You know, I really want to just say it anyway, because everybody should know by now. I'm just going to spoil this. You know, Michael is off the block. Literally off the block. Got himself off go michael but with that being said taylor is obviously being pushed 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 into that spot unbeknownst to her she's just sitting there like why is everybody keep leaving the room every time i come in like i'm always in a <laughs> well not everybody leaving the room like why well, i'm always in a room alone which obviously everybody keep leaving the room but anyway, this episode is not going to show all that. Let's see what if next episode show all that. It better show all that. That's what I know. Because y'all had no choice but to show this. It was an uproar. Outrage. You got celebrities commenting. You got the pageant, the whole pageant world commenting on your dumb ass. Dumb asses all together. You know, tarnish after tarnish after tarnish. Every black guy. It, uh, excuse me, sir. Bus driver. You got your nerve. <laughs> you got your nerve. You're gone next week. <laughs> so when your dumb ass be looking, when the sister try to throw that out there, like, you know, she was the first one saying that she did not want you to go nowhere. I'm going to make sure that black man, that man does not leave is what she said on the live feeds. His dumb ass thought it was good to wake up and be like, the bitch. I'm still trying to find in what context uh, text that he was saying it. But did you wake up and say the bitch? Literally? And all she was doing was defending your dumb ass being on the block? No, I'm cutting into live feeds and mixing it up with this tonight's episode. But I just cannot. I, I cannot do I just have to say it straightforward when I'm getting... Like, I, I can't just pretend like I'm just going to talk about just what happened on the episode and and not fill in these details for people that don't understand this girl walked into the house strut her stuff in the backyard because and that's another thing i want to get on who do your little lip filler ass paloma get off telling somebody that anything about fake anything about fake and i said you know because you come on here with more fillers than Marilyn Monroe, <laughs> past tense, and 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 present. You know of everybody else is trying to fall on her goddamn go footsteps. Than anybody on the show, you might got more filler than. You, did you go to the same um, plastic surgery office that uh dumbass that don't know that Denmark is not a daggone um country with her stupid ass? But anyway. Did you did you did you go to her place or something to get your fillers with your fake ass? You're mad because she just naturally looks this way. 
and you had to work on yourself. Yeah, you, you, you cute, cute, oh, you, cute little girl, cute little. Yeah, but that's all you get from everybody. Is she adorable? She's still a little girl. She's adorable, little girl. And not grown ass, sexy ass woman. So when you saw that stretch on that daggone uh, uh, pool table, you were definitely highly intimidated. You were in the pool thinking that your little bathing suit was your size negative A cup <laughs> that you try to. Um, I hate when when girls be putting their bathing suits on and then they they get an extra extra small size and then have like the the bottom titty meat underneath. Best basically we call it titty meat underneath, just showing so that it can look sexy, but it don't because you look like the orphan movie at the end, girl. Go somewhere. <laughs> Go somewhere. And that's the thing. Taylor don't even have all that neither. But it still look sexy and more womanly. Because it's the way you do things. And I'm sorry, boo. you just not naturally, like, womanly sexy. I mean, like, you know, like, grown-ass woman. You're more like, oh, you a cute little girl to, like, be girlfriends with. Boyfriend, girlfriend. And you're intimidated. Talk about something she wants to know the guys and all. She said she wanted to infiltrate the guys and just be it. Cause she knows that they're going to do a guy guy thing because she studies and she's a fan, obviously, of the show. So she knows that they're going to try to pick the females off one by one. So let me get in good with this uh, guy, you know, with the guys and just see what their head's at. And I'm going to just try to be in good with them. But obviously, I want a, a female to win this season. Not always the guys, obviously. But did you, did y'all walk up there and say anything to her? If I was in that house and I was feeling that way, I'd be like, as soon as I seen Taylor on the side, ever. Because you act like she just with the boys 24-7 and she ain't never going to take a shit or, go, go, you know, go anywhere by herself. She's just always walking with a guy. Like, literally coming off like that. And if so... I'm in the house to play my game. I ain't worried about whether she would have got now. Okay. Chopping block. That's how I feel. Okay. She on the chopping block. If I feel like she uh, not with us. And and I mean, not like not with um, not even us because that wouldn't be with us neither. As history shows, don't be with the girls because they turn on each other in a heartbeat. Soon as, it, soon as some male attention is given to one, it's like, why he talking to her? Why he, oh, she thinks she good now because she got him. It's like, no, 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 girl. That's why these things don't exist at all between girl um, alliances at all. But yeah, your dumb ass is jealous. The whole segment is Taylor. I don't know. They doing a round table and everybody go around. You notice that when everybody went around the circle, the main focus of all them outs, them, them outtakes was about Taylor. Like, not the fact that nobody talking about how Britney dumbass talking about some she a uh, she a toy um a toy tester, and then when they go, cut to her scene, she's like, um, yes, yeah, so I'm happily married. Yeah, as of one year, cut. That's it. So you ain't gonna say that you uh toys. She's like, mm, I, I guess that's me. Lie already. Nobody picked up on the fact that you nervous, girl. Why you nervous, girl? Because you thinking about what you trying to say, who you are, what profession you going to have. You knew it was your turn to go. Nobody focused on that. They focus on this beauty queen over here. And then she keep calling her out on it. Miss America, Um, glad you see that that's what she had the potential to be. But I don't think she was Miss America. I think she was Miss Mich Michigan. Dumbass. You know... <laughs> So it's like you all you already mocking her polarama. You you mocking her. And then you know, like it, it's crazy. <laughs> Bitches wish they could be me, but not me. So they imitate me. <laughs> they need me. They need me. They breathe me, basically. Oh my gosh. This episode, like, literally, the episode and ongoing right now, like, it's literally outrage everywhere. And this, and I normally would, like, go over this episode, you know, do a live reaction, have fun with it. Oh, you know, da da da. No, I don't want to celebrate nothing I'm watching right now because ain't nothing celebratorial. 
you know, it, at all. At all. Like, everything I'm looking at, it's like bullshit. Yeah. Fuck out of here, lying. Mm-hmm, bullshit. Uh-huh. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, you stupid. Dumb. Yeah, production did this. They tried it. Yep. No. Nah. I, I can't even fake that phone. So this is just straight up rant. I ain't gonna even show my face on this rant. This is gonna be straight up. I'm gonna show the clown all day on my video. Clown, clown, clown. If I have to drag her all season long and everybody else to come with it, like dumbass Monty, and then everybody like, Xavier wouldn't do this to... He, he would be there for her like a big sister. Well, like he was there for everybody else as a big sister. But he, he was there for um Hannah as a big sister, but he couldn't wait to get her out of there because she stopped becoming a little sister to um uh Tiffany. And he felt threatened about his big brother, you know, existence with her. So he got her out. But I had to make sure he got her out first. Tiffany out first. And then I'm going to get her out because she's going to be mad that I got Tiffany out. That that same guy, the same guy that was going with um Big D and um egging him on and instigating the fact that he all like that bitch too. Mm, not that guy, not that guy. I know some people like it will never be another Howard. Facts, big facts, big old facts, big facts. Howard doing this thing with his with his uh home life and beautiful queen. I know she is lucky. You know, she 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 said, I lucked out. And he probably lucked out too. Cause if somebody know the person that they with and, and make a family like that with a, a type of person like that, they know what they got. They must be the same as that person that they are. You know, I'm just saying, speaking facts, big facts. But yeah, it won't be another Howard at all. Would never be another Howard at all. I ain't seen no Howard n after none of them seasons. And it's definitely not Xavier, so we can cut that bullshit. Like, basically, cut that. There ain't no Xavier. But I just know one thing. <laughs> if she get evicted over hate, Big Brother US, yeah, you're going down. Literally, everybody that love Big Brother US and try to stick it through and try to give these networks um, an excuse of like, okay, they're making a change, so we're going to just be, we can't help the people that, uh, yeah, you can help the people that you recruit, because you can do more research. You're going and, and, and meeting people at shopping centers and DMing them and all that. Oh, I like your, um, your profile. You think you want to ever, um, try out for? That's all the research they do. The first, you, you look, you look at the first couple months of tweets from them, and post from them and that's it not digging deeper about anything on them do you even look at like actual background check like whether they've been to jail or not and things like that you know have you ever looked at that at all yeah i don't, I don't think i don't think none of that's happening but i digress i love big brother i'm so conflicted because it's like yeah everybody's screaming also which is getting my god on nerves all us um upright black people was like yeah this is the problem you guys y'all watching um y'all keep watching the show but then keep saying that um y'all want to change to happen ain't going to change not going to happen if you keep watching the show which your, your dumb asses keep looking at the the timelines as well if you're so unbothered don't look at nothing about it don't look at no tweet about what's going on no nothing just stay unbothered about big brother period that that you think that's doing the damn thing with us not looking at it and then on top of that everybody has their right to see what the hell is going on we can't voice our opinion on nothing unless we see it with your dumb ass so stop saying that and making other black people feel guilty of trying to figure out like putting pieces together we could read all the damn timeline we want but if people are not regular of live feeds which majority of them aren't they're casuals and all they have is the show to look at actual actions then that's let that be on them you know like let them do that that's not up to you and that's not telling them that like they're a sellout because they're actually trying to see what's happening yeah the the, the network is going to get ratings no matter what boo boo like you're not stopping anything from no ratings period they have enough casuals period 
other than black people watching it. It's not even a, only a few selected black people that even watched watch the show. Yes, it have grown over the years, but a lot of black people like, oh, I, I did hear the Big Brother, like, you know, when it first came out, I think I seen a few episodes or something. And then, you know, I just, I just stopped watching it. Or I, I just wasn't into it. And I hear that all the time. So please, black people, stop doing that to each other because it's annoying as hell. I want to look at what the fuck I want to look at. And when I want to look at an episode, even though I'm mad at everything that's going on, this is my show. I love Big Brother, the game concept and all the strategy behind it. You're not going to tell me, oh, I need to stop watching it, period, because of the hate is on it. No, the hate just need this, you know, that's going to continue outside the house no matter what. You're not stopping nothing. I'm, am I going to stop eating at a restaurant because you had a few people come near the restaurant? The restaurant didn't do it. It's the dumbass people that's coming to the restaurant. They can't, they don't know the people inside themselves that's coming and supporting their, um, their, what you call it, their, their establishment. So it's like, yeah, just stop being stupid about that. That's just get on my god on nerves. I hate when people do that dumbass stuff, but, or say that dumbass stuff. But, um, and get it back to the episode because I'm really going on a whole true rant. So, yeah, so obviously Michael is going to be the target. Um, so, Daniel is going to expose Michael for opening that door. <laughs> and then he forgot the, doing a kiss in the air, but I guess he ain't see that. But Michael had, uh, originally, like, you know, open, held the door open. And I believe Cal was first. And um he um opened held the door open for them and kissed his finger up in the air i guess you know reminded me of Dak prescott my quarterback uh doing a number four kissing the air for his mom um with every touchdown you know like we will continue to do this year another rant video coming up for dumbass people too um yeah so he just he just ruined that for all of us like now not only is i guess they saying it's ruined for black people the 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 cookout alliance but also now for super fans now they they gotta be forced to walk through the door they're gonna be looked at as oh you know they're a super fan because why are they doing this and they didn't just go straight in the door but you know what we need to demolish that anyway you know we need to demolish that curse because it's already kind of been undone with tamar braxton even though it's celebrity, so they say it don't count. But no, it count. It's still Big Brother. It's still Big Brother. If it's been done already, it's been done. But they like, no, it's been done in Big Brother. Regular Big Brother. Whatever. Like, that don't that wouldn't even matter to me anyway. It's like, whatever it is, it is what it is. I don't care about no damn curse. I don't believe in dumb stuff like that. I believe in I'm going to try my hardest, work my hardest, and it is what it is period because some of the first actually group of people actually are the ones that make it to the end sometimes it'd be like three out of the four uh groups that first walk in one of them actually either leave early or in the middle and sometimes it'd be the the other three that actually make it all the way to like top four or five you know out of um out of the other groups of the first uh people amongst the first people to walk in so even if I walked in first, like say a cow, and he make it to the top three. I'm not gonna be like, oh, the curse ruined me because I didn't win. Like, it's only one winner in the whole damn game, so you're. It's more chances, it's more odds that you're not gonna win. Period. Um, and if I make it to the top three, I'm not that wary of, you know, I'm I'm not that mad. I made it. So the curse is kind of broken with that. So the dumbass people to be like, you don't win Big Brother if you walk in first. It's like half of them don't win Big Brother. Like all of them don't win except for one person. Whether you walk in before or after, you know, it don't matter. Like it's only one winner. So that dumbass thing is to be out of the window too. But you did ruin it for any super fan that might want to pull that slick move, you know, and still believe in that curse, you know, later in later seasons to come. Um, but yeah, like Daniel don't have a brain of his own. He's talking about, he's going to use the excuse of, oh, you didn't talk enough game with me or didn't come to me. Yeah, Terrence, with his dumb self talking about some, we, all the Murray people need to stick together. No, they're the, no, we don't. 
Clarence, you got Jasmine. Like black like this and not like that, you know? And she all like with her country accent. I'm not making fun of country accent, but I'm just saying hers a little thick. And they made sure that they made her accent so thick, you know, so she don't come off as confrontational. And she's an actual black girl from down from Mississippi, but by way of Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, by way of Mississippi, um, that she will be a good, you know, look on the new Big Brother season of diversity because whoever really seen a real farmer, a farmer talking, you know, basically country old girl that's black. You know, that's going to bring some diversity. You like, fall in love with her. Then she might be the new James Holland, like Jordan. I don't know. But I think my country accent is gone, you know, right now. So I don't know when I sound like New Yorker or, or country farmer. But either way, you're not winning Big Brother with that. Like, just doing that was not good enough. I'm, I'm just saying, you bring all these people over here talk about some diversity you try to copy off of um, Canada. Let Canada be Canada. Canada is Canada. Canada is better. The competitions is better. Um, they are petty too, but they're petty in the like, um, a girl, your hair, your your fake hair extensions and like type of stuff like that. They still do high school stuff, but like mediocre high school. Y'all graduated to full on um, sorority um, hazing and shit, you know, basically got that which most of the hazing end in death you know some of the hazing end in death like severe hazing like girl how about the um get, like you're a slut in the school i heard you can get freaky like that you know like why don't we stick to that type of talk and then why don't you confront her y'all hoes all in the background talking about something pageant this pageant that because your your baby suit didn't look like that because that joint was looking fly and when she did that little leg kick and was getting them shots in and y'all saw the competitor in her with the boys and the boys saw the competitor mm, that part taylor you did a little disservice to yourself doing all that i only did all that you know but uh i know she was trying to bond with them i wouldn't have did all that in front of the girls and showed my competitiveness but with the boys if they want me on their side and i'm trying to like vet them to like get them for me to be on their side to use them to my advantage because i think she wanted to use boys to her advantage uh for her game plan but she really for the girls but this is day two i believe let me get time to make my way through you know what i need to make my way through y'all don't give me time to do none of that y'all just straight up ridicule me like she don't want to be with the girls we all not y'all talking about dumb ass shit like uh you know when i was <laughs> when i was in long ago when i nobody trying to hear that shit like if i was that's the part with me that if i was in the house i'd be like i will gravitate to the boys too because i first of all all my life is around boys all my family is mainly made up of boys uh my work space i'm the only girl on my team of men it's just around me when i well, then when the few times that i am around females you know ones in my office and stuff they're just like oh you know take them in doses it's like they're not talking about shit at all they're just like some things that i just do not relate to like talking about all day you know when i when i trying to make my nail appointment in the oh my god a nail appointment just show up you got it y'all y'all available who who's available to do my nail or my eyebrows and whatever oh i got sign in okay i'll wait don't like it's not that deep <laughs> like what they be talking about don't be that deep to me and this is like they go on and on and on and this is the part where i am a female i do have femininity in me when i want to have femi uh, femininity in me but i'm not trying to talk all day about the same dumb ass shit and she probably started trying to talk with them and just could not relate and sometimes you just gravitate towards the dudes where it's just smooth sailing i mean not i'm not going to exclude some of the little female dudes that i do know as well because dudes can be worse than females when it comes to running that guy dang on mouth and obviously in this house we have a pooch and we have a, a 
a, a, a thrift store <laughs> and we have a, um, a fake ass Elvis Presley and now we have a, a montage of Monte definitely making up shit about Taylor literally these whore ass men in the house making up lies about Taylor over exaggerating something that was probably a said fact but exaggerated to the highest max of no return on all of this stuff because you know they got to keep it going and once I put it out there I got to make it worse and worse so that I make sure that target is out the house I, I can't back down now and be like you know what it wasn't even she ain't even say that bad in a way like you know I can't back back from that so I got to keep it going and add more onto the um the, the fire you know add more flames so it's it's just crazy. Um, I think I'm going on a whole run about this episode, but basically I'm just um yeah, I'm not really pleased. This episode really and then they try to give us a heartfelt ass story about uh about um Justine and her dad. You know, rest in peace. I'm so sorry, don't nothing justifies anybody dying and I and I'm not making fun of anything like that, but uh, Miss Lady, we uh, in production. We're not gonna give a montage or a little segment, a segue into. Um, to me, I was looking at it as okay, we are gonna segue into something good before they roast um, their asses. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna give um, Jasmine a, a, a good look. But I guess y'all just trying to make it look good right now, so that next episode y'all can get the roasting her. But y'all started with Paloma right now because it's mainly Paloma in the first few days and then it actually picked up with Jasmine being the most hater out of all haters you know so uh, we'll see but uh, right now I don't like the fact that they gave a segment of her trying to say something so heartfelt and let the casuals actually be food like she's an actual good person uh, in whole time on the live feeds Taylor gave her heart, you know, threw her heart out there in a round uh, table they had about what were they thankful for. Basically, like, what is their what is their uh, reason why they were in the show? Um, or, you know, what is their why? What is why they here? Why why are you thankful for this opportunity? And, da, 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 da. and Taylor just poured her heart out about how friends is such a thing for her and how she did not know how to communicate with people well and she's an introvert and um and she is basically have uh or had communications problems with like trying to um start a not start a conversation what i'm trying to say now i can't talk but yeah you know like she just had problems actually meeting people and getting to know them right away um and she went around that um subject and she actually broke down and was crying about how passionate she is about her friends because her friends is her family she don't have no first cousins she, close cousins or anything no brothers or sisters so her friends are her family and she will literally die for them and and once she get to know i know i have a problem trying to first um create friendships and you know step out there and initiate you know all that but when i do come to fruition i will be the best friend that you ever had you know like they're going to use that time to drag her and say she's probably acting amira is going to say um yes <laughs> another another mixed up um folk that's confused and and she uh she's gonna say that I, I asked her what was her talent and she said acting was she putting on a show was she acting to the highest max where everybody was crying around the table about their wise but she don't get that credit of possibly just doing the same thing she got to be acting all right I think if you're human you can know the difference between crying from the stomach for real for reals and me acting and cut scene. I mean, did she drink a glass of water afterwards? <laughs> Other than the laugh that she had because of the house having a laugh when she said, I mean, but I know I gotta, you know, you know, backstab you guys at some point or whatever. And she was still crying when she said it and everybody else laughed. She was still in her feelings with that. 
but she was saying the truth. This is a game. And I know we're going to have to vote people out is what she's saying. She, they, they took it as like, oh, so she cutthroat, huh? She going to do that. And when, and then they took out of context. She said, I won't cut you from the back. I'll cut you from your throat, from the front. Meaning that I don't do that dirty shit. I will put you straight up on the block if uh, if you're my target and you're going straight up on the block. I don't do no dirty cutthroat stuff like what y'all are trying to do now to her with backdooring her. You you need to read between the lines. Like they're just so stupid, and they're taking everything she said out of context. Yeah, maybe yeah, she shouldn't say things like that. But come on, I'd rather take the person up front than the person that's stabbing me in the back right now and then rubbing my back through all the pain. <laughs> Polarama is rubbing her back through all the pain and then going in the next room and egging it on. One and everybody like, oh maybe she's coming around because she did realize that maybe we too hard on her. No, no, you could take your you could you could take your heart on me because you do got a heart on for me, but don't you you could take that. You could keep acting like that. Don't change, keep the same energy because I don't need your like your grace. I don't need your grace at all. Cause I was saying what's was from my heart. But I don't need no grace from you. Like, like that's going to make, oh, oh, you want to be my friend now? Oh, okay. Thank you for accepting me. No, bitch. Keep keep the same energy. I don't need your dumb ass grace, little ass girl. Um, but yeah, Jasmine was the main one uh, egging that on too. Say, no, they don't, give, they don't give her the right just because you had... Past and and that's your story back then. They don't give um you a right to, to treat people that way and talk to people that way. How you talking some way if she ain't talking to you? You're saying one thing and saying another. She not talking to y'all or she talking to y'all? Which one is it? It gotta be one or the other. And what is she doing to you? Asking about pineapples. Oh, the pineapple fell on, or whatever about the pineapple falling. All right. Oh, I don't. I'm sorry. Pride and Prejudice is it was boring to me. You ask me a question, you're gonna get my opinion, my answer. You ask me. I hope you don't think that I'm like a um, piggyback asshole, cause I'm not. I'm gonna say what you, you ask me. That shit was boring. You know, <laughs> like don't don't ask me shit now. Period. You don't want to get like I'm not gonna have the same answer as you. I don't. I'm not, I don't get all, get, 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 you know, over fake, fake ass love, you know, forced ass scenes. I don't, I don't do that. You do. That's cool. You do what you do. I didn't like it. You did. All right, let's move on. We might, you know, communicate and, and connect on some other things, but that ain't one. So, you know, sorry, but that makes me a bad person. No, you, you didn't come up to me equally as I didn't come up to you yet, but you heard my story about me having a communication problem with you know not communication problem but like um it's hard for you to connect with people right away you're just an introvert if you know that about her and she shared her story with you why didn't you volunteer to try to make an effort first to break the ice knowing that she has anxiety over meeting people you know it's just, it's just dumb ass shit like that that i wish i was in the big brother house so I can literally say that. Like, I wish they recruit the actual... Uh, if they did recruit actual real Big Brother um, fans, I don't think that dumb shit would happen like that. So I guess they rec recruit recruits um, because they know shit like this will happen and they got to make TV and they, it's all about numbers. It ain't all about integra integral games game plan and game plan you know which they should think about that because after a while it's going to start to look like housewives of atlanta like oh my god all they do is fight we don't see no shit that matters it's just fighting the same old restaurant eating fighting talking name talking all that you're a whore this you're a whore that after a while we're going the rating's going to drop and we're going to stop watching it because it's not talking nothing about the game so after a while you do need to get real game players I wish I was not wish I was on the season because everybody looked lame as hell. Um, only a few people I vibe with, and it probably would have been Taylor, and it probably would have been um, uh, Joseph actually. Uh, it would have been Terrence because sometimes I'm, I am around a lot of older men, um, but I, you know, 
I would have been talking to him in passing more than likely. But to chill and hang out with, I think my, I, I like to be around the low key dudes and uh, that would have been Joseph for me. And I would have been working out and having him train me anyway. So, uh, yeah, just get my fitness on while I'm in the house so I can, you know, get good at these comps and look better. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't like, I don't like any of them. I don't like any of them. Like Michael is cool. Brittany is all right, but you know. I, i'll save that for another video yeah that's my opinion guys this episode tonight you know started to pull that out there but oh yeah that's what i meant to say about jasmine yeah she was all like saying that about um her she, she even though her, she been through some stuff she can't she, that's not the right to do this and that or talk to people this way and da, 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 fake using a bully term right there but whole time your story yes your dad you know pants uh, unfortunately and you know i'm sorry for your loss and whatever but uh she could throw it right back at you nah 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 you can't use this storyline on this episode right here to make up for all the shit you're gonna do in the future and all and how you're gonna treat her in the future and talk about her in the future and make you look like a terrible person in the future you can't use your past to validate what you're doing in present time to other people you are the one that ha we have direct evidence of doing that not not taylor so we can come back and reference this reference this part scene cut one you know and go back after we watch maybe what is it wednesday's night episode I think it's Tuesday. It's what she say Monday, Wednesdays, and Sundays, or something like that. Yeah, when we watch the episode back, watch next episode. Clip this scene right here. This heartfelt scene of talking about her uh, passing of her dad and all that. And then clip clip the next scene when she's talking about. Oh, she can't use that to validate how she's treating people now. Oh, we're gonna say the same thing about you in episode two. So clip this now. All right, y'all, let me go back in this house because I need to eat my dinner and I need to get ready to prepare for this dumbass work week of, uh, <laughs> of work. You know, I just had to get that out because this episode pissed me the hell off and I just wanted to say all this. I couldn't say all this in front of the kid. I want to get back on my nitty gritty hardcore um, recap reviews and my feelings on things. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I I'll save the little cook cook uh, cookie cuttery one for when i'm in the house and i'm doing live reactions with the fam but other than that la kiki going la kiki so uh on that note like and subscribe to your girl channel because i have more to rant about and on more than just big brother as well um and have a great night i holla bye bye